Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel if you're new here and we talk about having a disability on this channel and yeah we basically break down stereotypes so if you're new here please subscribe. I forget to say that in almost every video but I do pop up the handy dandy subscribe button that like saved my life but um yeah also you need to subscribe because I am going to be taking a really cool trip this summer back to London um and then to Italy so there's that that's great I'm so excited I'm like I'm so excited um we're going to Rome I think so, if you're new here, please subscribe. I wanted to start posting Christian content on here. So, yeah, that's going to be great. It's going to be a new chapter. It's not going to be what my whole channel is, but it is going to be sprinkled in here and there. But if you want to see way more Christian content, Follow me on TikTok. Um, the name will be popping up on the screen. So yeah. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how Jesus saved my life and then how I came to know Jesus myself. So, there, I'm telling y'all like two stories. I don't want to get it mixed up. So basically... I was born prematurely. I don't know how prematurely, but I'll ask my mom and I'll get the number. I'll pop it up on the screen. But, um, yeah, I was pretty premature. Uh, there was a placental abruption involved. Uh, Attorney General Barr is I'm so sorry. Calls. Hang There's on. More coming. I promise you that everybody... Basically, there was a placental abruption involved. My mom almost bled out, so he saved her life, too. Which, glory to God, I don't know what I would do without my mom. She is such a strong woman. But, yeah, my dad says from the experience, he basically remembered praying, just, God, just, like, let her live, you know? Like, he didn't care he didn't care if I had a disability. He just wanted me here. And I'm thriving. I've been thriving for 15 years. And it's amazing. So, couldn't ask for anything more. Now, after God did that very amazing miracle in my life, four years later, basically, there was this show called Bible Man. And... If anyone knew what show it was, it came on like 2008, like like when I was like super young, four or five years old. And we went to see this Bible Man live show, which I was scared about because... I didn't like loud noises because of my startle reflexes and I was scared of my startle reflexes because I didn't know what they were at the time. But, yeah. I basically ended up really enjoying the show. It was so fun. I loved it. And then I just wanted to go down to the um stage and I prayed because they did you know, like they do at church, like, at the end of the service. If you haven't become a Christian yet, you can. So that's what I did. It was amazing. It changed my life. I, for, like, for the first, like, year after I got saved, it was insane. Like, I was a four-year-old, and I was saying, Grandma, I want to sit at a table and tell a bunch of people about Jesus. 
Like, it was insane. I loved it. It was so cool. And then, like, years later, a couple years ago, I got baptized. So, that was great. Jesus saved me in a really terrible car accident. So, that was great. You know, like, God is just so good. And that's why I want to share it. You know, like, he's so amazing. He's so great. Um, if you are not a Christian already, I'm going to pray the sinner's prayer. And if you felt led to come to God for a while, and you just, you just really need to do it. Like, I just feel led to pray for you and, you know, if you become a Christian tonight after having me, having us pray this prayer together, I would love to know in the comments, um, but repeat after me. Dear Lord, I am a sinner. Your word says, if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, you shall be saved. And I am broken, and I need you to come into my life. I need hope for eternal life. I want to be changed. Cleanse me with the blood of the Lamb inside and out. I believe you died for me, and I believe you rose on the third day. In Jesus' name, amen. So, again, the Bible says if you truly believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is the Son of God, you will be saved. So, if you just prayed that prayer with me, welcome to the family of God. And we, we are so excited, and I'm speaking on behalf of Jesus and all of the angels up in heaven right now that if you just had him come into your life he is rejoicing up there for you your name was just written down in the lamb's book of life and it can never be taken out it doesn't matter if you're a criminal if you're a murderer if you have lied if you've stolen if you've cheated God can save anybody. So, I hope you enjoyed this journey with God video as much as I enjoyed filming it for you. The next Christian video I'm going to film is my routine with Jesus. And I hope you guys enjoy that video as well. I have some service dog content coming because Sammy's switching service dog schools he goes up there on Friday and I just have that trip coming up and um yeah y'all are gonna let's see I'm gonna spend like three days in Italy y'all are gonna have to go like on this journey with me of learning Italian because I know none I literally know none. So, except Andiamo Avante, which is we go forward. So, um, yeah. I love you guys. God bless. And if you accepted Jesus into your heart while I was praying, please let me know. I would love to know how many people that prayer touched and whose lives impacted and I just want you to know that I'm not doing this for the views. I'm doing this to make heaven so crowded. That's my goal. You know what I mean? I want to make the family of God like the biggest family ever. Not only that, but God is going to use this and other Christian content that I film to bless our channel because we're doing it for the right reasons 
and yeah I love you guys and I will talk to y'all in my next video bye friends